Have you ever asked how the countries organize the information to tell things like, hey, we have three out of five women have this problem, or five out of ten men have this situation. So today we're going to understand what does these relations mean and how to use ratios and rate. Okay, so first we need to understand when people talk about ratios what does they mean? When somebody talks to you about the word ratio, it means that they're trying to give you a relation between two variables, but those variables have the same units. And the way to represent this relation is by using a quotient. So the ratio is only a division, a quotient. A fraction that relates to quantities that have the same unit. So just have in mind that every time you have a quotient that relates two magnitudes, that have the same units, we have a ratio. And this is when people use that the relation between something and another that have the same unit is 5 to 3. For example, this is highly used in science when people organize speeds or when people organize frequencies or when people organize masses because usually, sometimes in science, we can organize information according to one constant. For example, in a speed, many information is related to the speed of light. So you can use a ratio to tell that the velocity is a ratio 2 to, one, two to, to 3 to the speed of light, for example. So in this case, the way to represent the ratio will be, for example, 2 to this is the way in which you can say that the ratio the ratio is 2 to 3. It's a way to represent a ratio. But we have another situation that maybe you can see that is when we have a rate. And this is highly used because it's when you have two variables that are related or two magnitudes that are related as a quotient, but in this case both magnitudes have a different, this is important, a different unit. When two variables have the different unit, then we talk about a rate. So the rate is when you have a quotient. Remember that this is a relation of two magnitudes, or that relates to magnitudes. But in this case, they have different units. And I think that the easiest way for you, the easiest rate for you to remember is that, for example, you have a relation that is three kilometers to uh, two hours. Okay, let's say that uh, a pet or something small can walk three kilometers every two hours, or the rate, the rate is three kilometers to two hours. So in this case, we're talking about a rate because we have different units. But what happens if you can relate your rates by having the relation just to one unit? I mean, in this case, you can see 2 to 3. Remember that it's a quotient, so I can relate it, I can write it as 2 over 3, and I can read it 2 to 3, and in this case it will be 3 kilometers over 2 hours, that it will be 3 to 2 hours, 
But what happens if I can relate this just by dividing 3 divided by 2 in decimal form is 1.5. So what happened if I said, no, but I want to tell that this is 1.5 kilometers to one hour. When you have, when you use rates, you can use two or you can use per one, uh, sorry, not per, every, every, every one hour, every one hour. Okay. In this case, our rate will be 1.5 kilometers over one hour. And here we can say that this is a unit, unit rate. Okay? And you may ask now, but why? Why unit rate? Because it's related only to the unit of the second relation. Do you know? So when you say 1.5 kilometers to one hour, or sometimes we can say per hour, 1.5 kilometers per hour, so we're talking about a unit rate. This is a unit rate because the relation goes to only one unit of the variable. One important unit rate that is highly used, that you can use it every day, you use money, is the unit price, because the unit price is when you have the rate, but the unit, the, the unit is items, uh, the cost per item. So, for example, let's say that I that you go to the market right now and you go and ask, "Hey, I want an apple," and the guy who sells the apple tells you, "Hey, the apple costs one point fifty dollars per apple." So in this case, we say that this is like, you can write it like 0 0.50 dollars uh, over one apple. You know, you can see that this is this way and this is what we call the unit price. And that's it. This is how you can see what is a ratio, what is a rate, what is a unit rate, and what is a unit price. Just as an exercise, to end with an exercise, ask yourself if the following information I'm going to write on the notebook is a rate or a unit or a rate, is a ratio or a rate or a unit rate. Okay? So, for example, something that it's highly used uh, when we're talking about um, viruses and that stuff is like taking how many people are infected every thousand people. So, for example, let's say that you're listening to the news that there are 50,000 infected people every million. What do you think? Write me in the comments that it's a ratio that it's a rate, that it's a unit rate, or that is a unit price. Just let me know. See you in the next video. I hope that this is clear. If not, comment, try the answers to this question, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.